In this tutorial, I will show how to use radiance for more accurate daylight simulation and then importing the data into Ecotect for visualization. In this specific tutorial, I will show how to get the result onto the analysis grid because you, because you can also use radiance. And the big difference between radiance and Ecotect daylight simulation, that is, in Radiance, you can simulate it with different sky conditions and specific days. You could have different room concepts of window layouts. You wanted to test and see which one is the best one. In this tutorial, I will use this as a case. The same I will use when I look at spatial daylight simulation also with Radiance. The first thing that is needed, that is going here to 3D editor and create an analysis grid. One way of doing this, that is select the bottom surface for generating the analysis grid. First I need to display my analysis grid, I do it here. I already have done it, but the way I did it, that was out to fit grid to objects, selected objects, and usually you look at daylight levels in the height of 800 millimeters. Another tip that is inset the boundary because sometimes when you have a more complex shape it will mess up the result. So I recommend to inset it with 100 and you can also specify the, the cell size. In this case I use 500. Click OK. This warning is just about that I'm going to delete the information I have in my analysis grid right now, that's okay. Next step is export the analysis grid and the geometry to Radiance and I do that by going to calculate, lightning analysis, choosing export to Radiance for more detailed analysis, next. In this case I will use Illuminance Image Lux, here I choose Final Render because I want to have the result back into Ecotect on my analysis grid, then you need to choose final render. Next. It's possible with Radiance, as told before, that you can choose different kind of sky conditions. In this case, I'm using a cloudy sky, winter time, because I want to look at a specific time in the winter time. Next. Here I can specify date and time. I could use the current date and time, the time that is chosen up here, or I could specify it directly in here. I wanted to look at December next. This is not important when I want to have the on my an analysis grid, but it actually create a spatial daylight image in the same time, so I will choose interior views because it is interior. I have created these two views and interior and exterior view but I want to click yes to the interior and typical I only choose one image at the time next I also usually use medium as first step and you also need to specify where to save the file if you want to use the spatial daylight image this should be in the same folder of radiance and the file name should not have any spaces like this should be without any spaces that is very important next here i need to click generate point data and this data i'm going to use for my analysis import later and it also written here on the current 2d analysis grid and now we are ready to simulate daylight with radiance click ok this can take from few minutes to an hour depending on how many faces you have on the on the model. Good tip that is keep it as simple as possible. Here we see the spatial generated view. I'm not going to use this in this tutorial, so I just close it. When you do this kind of simulation, you will get this dialog box up with radiance import. Here you have the opportunity to, to select a row for this simulation and you could choose the first one. And giving it a more logical name like time on day 21st of December so I know which date 
and time it is exact for this simulation. It should automatically find the import data file. If not, you can find it by clicking here and browse to the, the file. It should be this file type of OK, like this one, open and then import. Another tip doesn't seem right now, but this will be fixed when you select it once again. And you can, of course, overwrite the maximum value and the minimum value. And these simulation you can do on each of your proposal and then and then maybe have a better understanding of which window layout gives the best daylight conditions. The way I work with these kind of simulation that is I typically copy them into Illustrator taking a plan view using the shortcut for copying vector graphic by control M and then go to Illustrate and paste it and here it's a, an example of these three kind of concepts where I first have the spatial view and then later plan view with daylight factors and visibility and these more time specific daylight simulation.